going to be walking you through the entire process of setting up a new account, booking, getting into the facility, and then how the simulator software works. So first of all, we're going to go to booking locations on the website. That's sgngolf.com. And then we'll choose the location we want to play at. When you first get in here, you're not going to have an account, so this is what you're going to see. You'll go up here to the top right hand corner and click on menus, and then we'll go ahead and click sign up. You're going to create a TrackMan account and put in all your data, and then TrackMan will email you a confirmation email. Once you have confirmed that the email is correct, then you'll be set up and ready to book. So we'll go ahead and log in here with TrackMan. So once we get in here, you'll want to decide if you want a private bay or an open bay. And then also if you have any other memberships, they'll show up on this page too. So we will go to open bay, add a few players. And then from here, we can choose the date and also the time and you'll want to you'll want to make sure that you're you're choosing a a.m. or p.m. slot because we are open 24 hours a day every single day of the year so we'll go ahead and choose 10 o'clock in the morning and we'll do it on bay 8 here and you can see the layout of the facility by clicking on the bays so if I click on bay bay 9 it'll show me how the facility is laid out and then what bay I have I have chosen. So in the Mason location, bays one through five are private, six through 10 are open bays. So we'll go through to, to bay eight. Right now I've got 10 to 11 chosen. The blue, the blue squares are how I can add 30 minutes to the booking. So I can just keep on adding them or I can click on them to take, take it off but only the ones that are in orange are the ones that we're actually selecting. So you, each block is 30 minutes, so we have two hours chosen here. So if we're happy with our selection and our bay choice, we're gonna go to next. And then from here, we'll go to, go to checkout. And then this is where you would put in your credit card information and confirm the order. Uh, if you have credit or a gift card on your account, you'll see it right here and you can choose to, to use all of the credit or you can uh, pay with a credit card. So I'll go ahead and use my credit on here, confirm the order. So as soon as you create that order, you're gonna get this email and it will come through and have your open path pin. So this code right here will unlock the front door for you. And you'll have to push the enter button after you put in the, the six digit number. And then once you get into your bay, this code right here, this four digit code, that will unlock the, the simulator bay for you. This is what you're gonna see on your bay when you come in. So you'll have your name up here and your time that you're going to be playing. We'll go ahead and click start play and then we will put in our code that we got. And then it'll pull us right into the software. So once you get into the software, uh, practice is going to take you to all of our driving ranges. And, and the top screen is a touch screen so you can just touch on this. We'll go into a target practice range. We're going to choose our, our distance here and then we can go ahead and start hitting shots. If you'd like to change the target, you can select target here. You can select a different distance and then you can place the ball too so you can you can put it wherever you'd like on the driving range and then anytime you're wanting to get out of a a range or a course we're gonna click on the trackman button up here and then we'll go to quit game 
and this will pull us back into the to the main menu so if you want to go to courses we're going to click on courses we'll choose a random course here and then again if you have the trackman app you can open it up on your phone and click the quick login and scan this QR code in the top right if you do not have the trackman app we're just gonna click on this and click add guest and then you can tap on the screen and put your information in here this is where you're gonna set your handicap and then it's also where you're gonna set your T boxes so we'll go here and then if you have several people playing we'll just continue to add guests in everybody can play from a different tee box if you'd like them to or you can have everybody on the same tee box but we'll put in three players all at different tee boxes and then we'll go over here to game settings so most of these settings have to be set up before you start playing once once the game begins you're not going to be able to change some of these things so if you're if you're working on your handicap you'll have to turn mulligans off if the mulligans are on it won't it won't count towards your handicap another thing that's changed a lot is putting uh, if you would like to putt you can click manual and then if you want to aim your putts you can click manual or have it aimed if you don't want to putt you can just have the system putt for you and there's a couple different options to do that and if you click on them it'll tell you how each one is um, how each one is done so we'll go with um, we'll just go with automatic two putt and click save and now that we're happy with our settings we're gonna click the start game button So we have warm-up mode on so you can just keep hitting shots until you're ready to go and then once you're ready to start we'll click ready to play and then once you're in the game if you ever want to take a mulligan or a re-hit or anything like that you're gonna click on the name up here and then that'll drop down all the players that are playing and you can select the player that you want to have the mulligan or re-hit or drop out there will be, once you get the game started, there will be several options up here to choose from. So we'll go ahead with that. And then to get out of the, to get out of the course play, you're going to do the exact same thing as the range. We'll just click on TrackMan and then click Quick Game. And those are pretty much the basics of how to get in, get booked, and get started. If you ever have any other questions, you can always check out our website. We have how-to videos on the website that show a lot of additional uh, information on there. Some of the different games and competitions, the leagues, um, and just some other things you can do on the system.